Hey friends. Well, it's been a while since I did a video. So, <clears throat> yeah, a few knives come and gone per normal. And I just did this on a, a trade to uh, Blade HQ. Sold them a scarab. Pretty nice scarab for a couple custom knives. Um, this one, a lot of you will be familiar with. It is the Anex. But this version here is a Tanto version. And this is a, as you can read, the Tritone Stonewash, the Elmax Blade, made last month. Um, I'm so sorry, about a, a month ago. This, uh, it's actually October 2nd, 2015. So, anyhow, it's kind of cool. Microtech is, uh, again, st stepping up their game. And, uh, Starting to include some some newer things with their uh, their custom knives. Tony did. There's a Microtech polishing cloth. It's got a dagger logo on it. I just left it in the bag. It hasn't even been opened yet. Um, we also got a microfiber bag. They're including with it. And then the new uh, these uh, plates, aluminum plates. This one's black. I think the old ones just came in a like a stone wash or something. So anyhow, onto the knife. Yeah. So this is the uh, the new Anax, um, new as a, a Blade Show 2014, but uh, a little bit newer version. Um, the lanyard they're including now uh, is a Stinger lanyard, which well they were calling it Stinger, but it's a shortened version. The other one was maybe twice as long as this. As this. this is about an inch and a half, and um, I did just get the knife today, but I've had it in pocket. And I really like it. It's, it's kind of cool. Uh, it doesn't get in the way. You can grab it. Um, and I haven't bitten myself yet with it, so hopefully. Uh, the knife hasn't, uh, hasn't changed. I think it's got a stronger detent than uh, other Anaxes that I've, I've had. I think I've had four of them now. And um, you can use the fuller to open it. But, of course, Tony's grinds are... Just incredible this is really cool because it, it kind of has a belly and then perfectly straight edge so I think it's going to be very useful uh, piercing utility pretty much anything you want to to use it for retains the thickness of course in the tip and like the other anax with just a regular drop point blade uh, it, it, the other drop point blade is also thick, which is, I think, a, a really distinguishing quality of these knives uh, for the size. It's a little bit larger than a, uh, a large Sabenza, if you're familiar with Chris Reeve knives. Um, I do have one, but not next to me here now for comparison. Um, lock up eh, about 50%, almost. No blade play at all. It has the double jimping. There's quite a few ANAX videos out. I'm not sure if I've seen one yet with the Tanto, and that's pretty much why I'm showing this one. Because I, I really think it, it lends itself um, to the knife well. When I when I got the original ANAX, I was a little um, taken back by how thin the handle was, not width wise, but kind of like girth wise. But it, it really works well. And, and I thought that the blade kind of, when it's closed, sat out a little bit more than what I liked. And, and the Tanto does it even more. But again, even in pocket, you can see this detent here too. But even in pocket, um, it's, it's not out of the realm of you know some of your other tactical knives in the same category for uh, size. So, uh, of course, you have the... Uh, the Todd Begg uh, tight pocket clip. Dead center. Grind is really even. Um, it's cool about this too, even on the Tanto, it's, it's rounded on the spine, like the drop point version. I was thinking if they really, really wanted to, they could have, you know, potentially, potentially um, curve the blade down a little bit more on this. But then you're you're taken taken away from that kind of grind, the tanto thick tanto grind that uh, Tony's famous for on um, some of his other models. That's how strong the detent is, um, such as the the Socom Bravo, um, 
even the even the scarab so anyhow um the price point of these are fantastic they're about uh you can get them anywhere from 685 to 715 this one they make two different versions of uh this knife and this price point um the other one is what they call an apocalyptic finish so it's uh, you know it, it has a more of a stone washed appearance through, through the whole uh, knife where this tritone one I, I think it's a little bit prettier it's still like a, a satin stone wash on the flats and then kind of bead blasted in here and it, it really shows off the grind curious on how this video is going to come out this is the new iPhone 6s woohoo but anyhow so okay well um until the next time hopefully uh your knife collection is growing and um stay sharp stay safe thanks for watching